today's Farm Basics, we'll discuss one of those interesting topics in agriculture, lift stations and subsurface drainage. Brian, this is a little unusual. We don't see lots of lift stations out there, but every once in a while on really flat ground, for a farmer to get his field to drain and get enough oxygen in that ground, he might need one. Well, it depends on where you're at as to whether we see a lot of these lift stations or not. So what it really is, is if there isn't enough slope in that field so you can move the water out with gravity, then you basically dig a deep hole in the ground, have some type of holding tank and have the tile lines go to that holding tank, then you pump it out of there and then the water continues downstream. Now you mentioned that maybe you just don't have enough slope for water to get away fast enough out of fields without hurting the crop. I look at it another way, Brian. I talk to farmers all over the country that have a railroad that went up or a highway that went up and all of a sudden they had land that drained, but now there's an impediment in the way of where that drainage is gonna go. Yep. I know I've got that. I've got a field that's right along a rail line and it's between my field and the river. And so the drainage used to go right through that area, but now there's a railway that built up about four or five feet high, and now I've got this basically a dam backing well, up water into my field. And that's the whole thing. So farmers are not allowed to dam up water from a neighbor. You can't do that, that's illegal. But yet roads can do that, railways can do that, and then we as farmers have to fight that a little bit. But anyway, the, the basics here that, of what we're talking about is a lift station is simply, you dig a big hole in the ground, you put a tank down there of some sort to hold some water, and then you pump that water up and out. And sometimes that water can be used for positive uses too. Sometimes you just pump it into a stream and just get the water to where it was naturally going to go. But other times farmers may choose to irrigate out of that, yep. and they could pump that water back back into the field and you say, wait a second, they pumped water out of the field, now they're pumping it back. Yes, they're pumping water that's soaked down into the ground and it's several feet deep and now they, they're gonna recycle that and use that water once again. So there are a lot of different uses here. Lift stations can be a real positive thing for farmers in certain areas to improve drainage and possibly even to feed some water for their irrigation. Yeah, the interesting thing, I'll talk to many farmers that'll say, oh, my ground is too flat to drain and I just ask them about the lift station concept. Some have never heard of it, some some thought it was too expensive. I can just tell you we have a couple of lift stations on our farm, including one that I'm looking at as I look off camera in this particular field. And I'm super happy we have that because now it allows us to better drain the field. And also you might say, oh boy, you're taking all this water that would never get out of the field otherwise and flooding someone else out. First of all, the water is always moving, whether it's above ground or below ground. So it's continuing to seep downstream. So don't think that the water's not moving. And then the second thing is, in terms of flooding anybody out, that just doesn't happen over the long term because when you have good drainage, that means you raise more crop. When you raise more crop, you suck more water out of the ground. You use more water is what I'm trying to say. So there typically is less water going downstream. Well, lift stations are, are something interesting. It's something you'll see as you look around in different agricultural fields. One other thing you may see out in some fields is our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 